What's up, guys? It's Tyler or Swiss Fi here, and I'm here with my boy Nebs. What's good? And today we're ranking Call of Duties, um, and I'm actually kind of excited for this. Uh, I saw a few people do it last night. I watched some videos, so it just kind of inspired me to do it myself based on my experiences with Call of Duties and Neb's experiences as well, because I know that we have some differing opinions on some Call of Duty games. So yep, yep. thought I'd bring him into this. And look at that. The first Call of Duty we start out with. Guess which one it is. Hot 4? Advanced Warfare. So, oh wait, is this wait? Okay, is this what is this ranging in terms of all of the Call of Duties? Like, is it like even so? All it of goes the first from Call of Duties? it goes from Call of Duty One, like the first ever Call of Duty, to um, let's see here, Cold War, I think. Uh, okay, so, Call so we're just not going in chronological order. No, so. it, ha it has it placed in different spots. So like, um, it just has random Call of Duties. So you're probably going to be surprised by some of the ones that come up before others, but right, it's no, just no. based. It's just based on what's placed right here. I'm just going from left to right. Um, so yeah, first one from left to right that's on here is Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. What do you think? Man, uh, for me, I would say it was all right, but I wouldn't. Or knowing you, like, and how much you liked Advanced Warfare, I can't really blame you for putting it on great. So for me, like, I, 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 for me, it's all right, but I wouldn't mind it being in the great category. Because you know, it did age pretty well. I, I played it a lot, and like, I, at the time, it was a really good game. Like, I would have probably put it at great back then, but it didn't have the lasting effect like some other Call of Duties did. Like, as an example, like Black Ops Two, or you know, um, Modern Warfare 2. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we'll just leave it in all right. Yeah, we'll and just, we'll, we could just come back to it in the end. Yeah, yeah, we could we can come back to it. Next one up, left to right, Black Ops 1. Call Black of Duty Black okay, Ops. Okay, this is all you, honestly. I, I can't. You barely played it? Yeah, I didn't get to play it because uh, I was just, as a, you know, as a child, I was just too shy to to like ask my parents to buy this game because we weren't like the richest so this is all you bro even though i did hear a lot of good things about black ops 1 so there is a lot of good things but there's a, oop, there's also a lot of bad things um hmm. they they you know they had okay weapons balancing uh there was only a few guns that were overpowered and they were overpowered the whole time this call of duty was big uh and then the zombies on top of it completely changed the game and like how Call of Duty ran in the future. So I'm going to drop it in great for now. Um, but I'm going to drop it in great for now because it was also at a time where everybody experienced like great times in gaming. So it wasn't like... I, I think Infinite Warfare was a trash game. But if it was a little bit of a better game as an example, then... And it came in at the right time in the Call of Duty community, then it probably would have blown up a lot more. Just like Call of Duty Black Ops One, I think it came in the right time in the Call of Duty community. Everybody wanted a little bit of a change, and it changed the game quite a bit. Um, and then future Call of Duties based their stuff off of it. Um, we'll get to you know Infinite Warfare and them later, but that that's just the, one of the first games that came to mind when I th think about that. Um, like a mechanic mechanical wise i think black ops one was very good so that's why i dropped it in great as well um trick shotting wise the trick shots are clean but i could never fucking trick shot in that game <laughs> um let me check my sound settings real quick and make sure i forgot to do it but i'm good anyways all right <clears throat> next one up can you guess what it is uh modern warfare 3 Black Ops 2, big boy. Oh, that's easy. Uh, there should be no debate on this one. Yeah, I mean, it's God tier. God yeah, tier. Like, just everything, part of the game, you know, uh, the campaign, the zombies, and most importantly, like, the multiplayer brought back, like, so many, so many memories, like, trick shotting, you know, ninja defusing in the S&D lobbies, pub stomping, mm -hmm. like, it literally had everything, and great maps, too. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I, I was just going to say, I think Black Ops 2 brought that immersive map type thing into Call of Duty. 
so like before like black ops one had pretty good maps but there was only a few that i could still name on black ops 2 i could name almost every map because they were just so dynamic and uh and everybody could jump on and play those maps um but it also had like a skill barrier too to where like you'd have to play it quite a bit in order to be actually good at it um but it it could also work for casual players too you know what i mean so i i don't know how they did that but i think they did really good with that game um so yeah that's why it's in god tier for us um so let's see we got a bait like honestly i'd like to hear someone's uh argument why it's not god tier because that that there's no i don't think there's any debate about black ops 2 yeah and if, if you guys have any anything against what we're uh putting on here please leave them down in the comments and uh nebs and i'll look through them Pro maybe in a future video depending on how many comments there is but let's see here so now we're on to uh black ops 3 see th this is where we're gonna have a little bit of a debate because i didn't yeah. like black ops 3 that much um i think the mechanics were all right but I think it was one of the games that came at a bad time because everybody was tired of jetpack games, and then they released this one that had more jetpacks. Good point. So yeah, that, that I, is a good point. I, I don't know, like, where, where would you put it? I know okay, that you so enjoyed for, this game. On my side, yeah, I really enjoyed Black Ops 3. In my opinion, this is, like, the best jetpack COD just because the movement system was a lot more smooth. And, mm -hmm. like, the gunplay, um, it was great. You know, there was, like... The overpowered weapons the really annoying ones like the brekkie um that's one mm -hmm. that's really annoying but um you know red gunning or like in terms of like uh just like competitive wise it was like a great game uh sniping was really good like the svg and the locust honestly i had really fun sniping maybe no aim assist i, I don't think that game had aim, aim assist which, no it didn't uh, it was one of the first gods to do that yeah but um Man, I almost said this was the last Jetpack game, but I forgot Infinite Warfare was one. But man, I I, thought, I really love this game. Like, I, I went Prestige Master, got Dark Matter, uh, sniped a lot. Um, I thought the maps were really good for uh, a, like a Jetpack game. I've, I could probably, like, the yeah, maps I'll, in this game was I'll, a lot I'll say, to me. Yeah, I'll say these maps were actually decent. Like, I, I yeah. could see them bringing back some of the maps um, yeah, 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 yeah. in future CODs, that kind of. You, you know, like, I feel like that's how they could do it um, yeah. in future COD games is bring back Black Ops 3 maps. Um, so where would you drop it? Would you drop it in, like, me, great, all right, or honestly meh? honestly drop it in great. I think it's it, it was a great game. Um, you know, like I said, like, I think it definitely had the most memorable maps in comparison to other other Jetpack CODs, like Advanced Warfare and uh, Infinite Warfare. I do agree it did come at it, like, a, a weird time where people were kind of sick and tired of... Uh, what's it called like the jetpack jetpacks, jetpacks yeah. in general but other than that like even zombies was pretty good zombies was pretty I, I wouldn't say it was underrated because you know there was only a few caught titles with zombies but zombies was really fun with the the gobble gum system that was a very interesting um, oh that's true that that was new in the in the cod scene yeah um i don't remember if there was a campaign uh in this game I think there was. I think Black Ops Four was the one that didn't have a campaign. But for yeah, me, yeah, Black would... Ops Four didn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But for so... me, I would put in great. All right, all right. We'll we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Um, I I played it quite a bit, but I didn't enjoy it as much as some other people. I played it with like friends and stuff. Like remember Nasty? I played it with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, those guys. Uh, but yeah. All right. Next game coming up. Speaking of Black Ops, Black Ops Four. Um, for me, I'd drop it in meh, uh, because I feel like they just stole mechanics from Black Ops 3, and a lot of the map designs were very poor. Uh, they focused a lot on that game mode, what was it, Blackout? That was like a battle royale? Yeah, that was a and then, battle royale. And then, the ba and then it wasn't even that good. Like, they focused on it, but it wasn't, I, I don't know, I didn't enjoy Blackout as much as I did, like, Warzone, as, as per se. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh yeah. Right, go ahead. Is there no, that, I no, I I was just gonna say that. Yeah, they stole a bunch of stuff from Black Ops Three and just tried to transition it from like Black Ops Three with jetpacks to Black Ops Four to pretty much like a Black Ops Three with no jetpacks. Is what I felt like this game was. Yeah, and like the biggest downfall for this game was probably the stim packs. Stim packs was pretty. Oh yeah. It would. I mean, I I understand they were trying to bring something in new, but 
you know, like, you could abuse that so much, and it was just, like, a, a weird mechanic for people to get used to. Um, yeah, I wouldn't blame you for putting meh. Honestly, I would put it, or, like, just keep it at meh. But for me, I'd, I'm leaning a little bit towards all right behind Advanced Warfare, but leave it at meh, because I, I don't blame um you putting it there at all. So Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, Advanced Warfare for me is, like, in, like, the perfect spot. Because uh, I wouldn't put Black Ops 4 in alright just because I feel like it was mostly a copy-paste type game in Advanced Warfare when they introduced the jetpacks and stuff. It, the jetpacks weren't like OP, they weren't overpowered or anything. Um, mm. And uh, Black Ops 4, I don't know, I I played it for like a few months and then I got bored of it. Yeah, um, the maps were pretty um, not exciting. And I don't know if they would ever bring back any of those maps. Yeah. Alright, so... This is going to be a hard one. It's the original Call of Duty. You never played it, have you? Nope. I'm um, sorry to Me say neither. I never it. <laughs> <laughs> we All never right. played it. Uh, but right. Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 2, I played. This is my first ever Call of Duty. You, you ever played Call of Duty 2? Nope. nope. It That's was, all you, my brother. So Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, and Call of Duty 3 are all World War II games based on different eras of World War II. Call of Duty 2, in my opinion, was the best because uh, it was like you're an army ranger um, on D-Day and stuff, and then it follows through after D-Day. Um, and then I played a little bit online, but at the time, nobody really played these games online. Um, there, there was maybe like 100 to 150 people playing it online. Uh, so I didn't really play online. I mostly played the campaign and stuff over and over and, you know, that kind of thing. It was really fun for the age that it is so i'm gonna drop it in all right um i don't think it's god tier and i don't think it should be put with black ops because black ops completely changed call of duty as it is um so i'm just gonna leave it with uh all right uh and then the next one it's call of duty 3 and you haven't played this yeah. one either have you nope that's all you again god damn uh I'm well this start, one man. nah you're good you're good these are really fucking old it's just reflecting how old i am um, so I got this game on the Wii and I played this on the Wii. Um, and it was meh. It, it had a decent storyline, but it was really just copy and paste of Call of Duty 2. Um, mostly. All right. I don't know how you feel about this next one, but Call of Duty Cold War. Cold War. Oh man, this is a very interesting one. Um, oh yeah. Man, ah, it's so hard. Cause I actually really like um the mechanics of the game. I think like just like the biggest downfall for it was like the skill based matchmaking. I mean that's the common mm -hmm. take that people will take. Um, man, it's just a shame. Like in comparing this to like, I feel like we would have to have this age more, and we'll see like how people look back on it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, honestly, in met tier right now. Uh, it's just a shame. I like. I, I really enjoyed playing it. Honestly, um, I I probably only played league play, like uh, league play and S and D for this. Like, I really liked the balancing of like the guns. There wasn't really any O P weapon. Sniping had like was really uh. It's like a hit or miss sniping. Like it's it, it can be really O P to some people and other people it's like terrible, like to mm -hmm. use. So honestly. I wouldn't say it's it's trash at all because I I thought the game had like great mechanics and stuff. Um, it was just like go based matchmaking. Honestly, the maps weren't the best, so I think meh is like um where I would put it. Yeah, I would drop it in meh as well, but I I'm on the board of dropping on trash because it's just I it's hot garbage for me. I I mean I get, I have sudden urges to play it sometimes, but whenever I do, I kind of regret it. I almost wanted to like delete it every time I see it in my games. Um, yeah, it's it's just so frustrating, and it's not even like their fault because they. I read somewhere that they had like six months to make it or whatever, and to make a game like that in six months, that's crazy. Most studios can't even make a game like that in like six years. But I still comparing to other Call of Duties, absolute trash. I don't know. It's. I think. Well, I think there's we there's one COD that's for sure in the trash tier that we could both think of that's probably going to be coming up soon, and we'll, we'll get to that later. But I mean, uh, yeah, man, for this COD, I mean, th this one had 
like a, a nice campaign. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate you did. Uh, that was a, bring, a good point that they didn't have much time to work on this COD. And like another bad thing about this COD that's also bad on another COD that we're gonna mention later is that it, it has like the you can't stay in the same lobby. I don't know why they keep continuing that uh, um, that trend where you can't like you you change uh, different lobbies like every time you play. You know you know what yeah. I'm talking about in multiplayer. So it's yeah. just a shame that they bring that back up, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I get that. I, I agree. Um, so the next Call of Duty, this could be debatable as well, but it's not going to be in trash at all, I don't think. Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, all right, what do you think about Ghosts? I think it was all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I would put it in all right, but I want to hear where you were going to put it. Man, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, you see, if there was one COD that I'd like to uh, to like go back in the time, just because I kind of forgot how, or not necessarily forgot, but it's kind of hazy to me, like what that game was like, um, mm -hmm. gameplay wise and just everything in general. Uh, man, what was what was even the snipers that we used for Ghosts? Was it was it like wasn't it similar to the LW3 from the Cold War? Or am I tripping? Uh, there was the there was the big fucking thing that people trick shot it with. Oh, the Atlas. That one's called. There, I remember. Yeah, the, that, Atlas. the Atlas, and then there was the other one that was similar to like the ballista from Bo2. Um, yeah. I forget what that's called. The is that the Locust too? No. No, no, no. No, yeah, it's not the Locust. Um, um, but I I was gonna say all right because at the time, like people were figuring out that you could trick shot on ghosts and that you could snipe decent. And like they were making, pu pumping out montages and stuff. So like the game that came out before this, I believe was, um, wasn't it Advanced Warfare? It came before this. No, it was Black Ops Two actually, right? Black. Oh yeah, Black Ops Two came before this, and then this came out, and it made Call of Duty kind of like lose a huge part of their fan base. But as they continued to update it, that fan base slowly came back, and. Um, Coming off Black Ops 2, one of the go the only God tier game that we have up here, I think it did all right. Um, I think. Yeah, I would. I I agree with you. Like in terms of, all right, you, you just leave it out. All right. For me, I would just because I can't remember much. I would put it like in the beginning of May, but leave it in all right because it was just looking back on it that that was like a good point. It also had um, what was that Alien game mode? I actually played that a lot. The, oh the yeah, the... or something like that yeah like it was almost like their version of zombies but it was aliens yeah they only had one map though so like i, yeah. I played that one map so many times but honestly like that was pretty fun to, to me um but yeah that's pretty much all i had to say about ghosts i i yeah the the ghost storyline i don't know if you play the campaign we're still waiting for call of duty ghost 2 to figure out what happens um Man, I, yeah and, i forgot about the campaign i don't remember yeah the the campaign at the end where the train jumps off the rails and stuff and then the bad guy, I forget what his name is, comes back and steals um, and takes that one dude, and then it ends. Um, yeah. yeah. He, like, takes him prisoner or whatever, and then it ends. So we're still waiting on Call of Duty Ghost 2, technically. I feel um, like Ghost 2 is going to be coming, for sure. Uh, who, who do you, Was it Infinity War that did this, this game? Uh, Yeah, I think so. I think it was Infinity War, yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I also agree with your prediction. I think there will be a ghost too, and uh, this is off topic, but another reason why Black Ops Two is god tier is because uh, it had one of the best camos, the ghost camo. Like that camo mm -hmm. was so sick. Or, I mean, that, that's I thing about Black Ops Two. Yeah, I think like I think they tried to continue that in Call of Duty Ghost Two, where they gave you like some cool camos if you purchase them, and that's when you saw like it started to come into Call of Duty where you could purchase things to look cooler, you know? I, I forget what that's called, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it, it's not a bad thing at all. Like, they make more money off it. Good, good on them, you know? Um, but I think that's also... Um, they also released too much in Ghosts, I think, for that. Like, I think they lost so much money on Ghosts that they released too many things in the game for people to buy. So people kind of got bored of them. Um... And I, I enjoyed Ghost. Uh, I, I have a lot of fond memories of playing with some people on there and trick shotting and then, you know, doing all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's an all right game. It's not terrible, but 
Like it's not meh, but it's not great either. I wouldn't put it with Black Ops or Black yeah, Ops 3. Yeah. I think this was actually the game where we first met too. Even though this wasn't like the game we necessarily played the most. Right? Was it Ghost? Yeah. It was it was at the beginning of Ghost, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I met most of my like really close friends on Ghost and you know, kept playing from there. Um all right. So, next one, we both know where this is going. I'm just going to put it there immediately. Infinite Warfare, yep. Yeah. Infinite Warfare trash, bro. I okay, story time. I went to uh the release of this not the midnight release, because they didn't have a midnight release. They had an 8 a.m. release where I live. And I went to the release in the morning because I was pretty hyped for it. Because the trailer looked... I, I The trailer looked all right, but it was the most disliked Call of Duty trailer in in the history of YouTube. I think it was like the second most disliked YouTube video at the time ever. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember and that. It's because yeah, yeah. it involved like space and stuff. And I thought the space stuff was kind of cool. I don't know. I thought that at the time. But everybody was right and I was wrong. Spent $60, put it in the Xbox one time, played the multiplayer, or played all the campaign. Took me two hours. Played one game of multiplayer, took it out, and never put it back in. And yeah, I remember uh, they, they released Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Remastered with it because they knew they'd lose so much money on this game. Yeah, that was a good that was good on them for thinking of uh doing that yeah um, and speed uh yeah i i don't know uh what, what were you gonna say uh yeah i played i actually played multiple the, the multiplayer like i try to give it a chance i try to play the multiplayer for like a couple of days but honestly yeah it just wasn't doing it for me it had like the same it had like similar movement like the jetpack movement as black ops 3 but i don't know just everything about it was like just a huge downgrade and um like it came at like even an even worse time than black ops 3 just because everybody was already sick and tired of caught or like the, the jetpacks despite like mm -hmm. um black ops 3 being pretty good and they come out with another, another jetpack game but not even not even that but it was like a terrible one so i don't remember any like the only map i can remember in this infinite warfare is like this uh they were in like a or you know what i can't even describe the map yeah it was just bad honestly yeah, um, it, yeah i didn't enjoy it at all speaking of uh infinite warfare the game that came out with it call of duty 4 modern warfare remastered um or just call of duty 4 modern warfare what did you think of this game call of duty 4 um are we? I mean, we should just do like the original COD Four instead of the remastered. I mean, it's it's like kind of. It it, it, it is the original. Okay. This okay. is that's what this poster is, but I just said remastered or COD Four. Man, just because uh, they they were similar. Yeah, I don't know. I think for this one, you see, I think it gets. It was great. It was a really good game, but it gets overshadowed by its like like um its counterpart, I guess, like the next uh, Modern Warfare. So it's kind of like. In between for me i'm thinking like all right or gr all right to great i think maybe put it in great just because just to give it that respect for being um you know such a well-known cod uh yeah. i don't remember playing like the multiplayer that much because like i said i did start around um the black ops 2 slash modern warfare 2 um era Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? I mean, I played the campaign for this one. It, it was good. It was really good. But uh, I can't really mem remember much from, like, the multiplayer experience. But for me, I would put it in, like, great just to give it that respect since it was very well-known and popular COD. You know, I agree. I, I think COD 4, like, the thing that kept COD 4 going was its predecessors, the people before it, or the games before it, like Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, and then they come out with Call of Duty 4, which is more multiplayer based, which let the fan base like actually play with each other, and that like blew up Call of Duty in a way. I also like how versatile, versatile um, everything was. Like I feel like they have a lot of weapons in that game that made it all the way through all the other Call of Duties, like the MP5, um, you know those types of weapons, the Barrett 50 cal, uh, yeah. So. And some maps as well. I can't really think of any right now, but I know some maps made it all the way like through shipment? all the other Call of Duties. Yep, Shipment. Um, That's one of them. I, yeah. I don't remember any others, but I, I know there's a few more. All right. 
Next up, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, um, you, you want to begin on this one? I'm, I would drop it in great, to be honest. I would I would put it ahead of COD 4, but actually, I, I would put it ahead of Black Ops 3, but I'm going to leave it right here because uh, I, I enjoyed it. I, I think, like, there was an era of Call of Duty players that, like, were right before me that played this game all together, and they trickshotted, they sniped, did whatever, and they had a great time, but... By the time I came around to this game, everybody was using, you know, noob tubes and like, you know, it, it just wasn't that fun um, to me, at least. Um, I, I don't know how you feel about this game. Yeah, uh, this I, might be this might be one of our hottest takes in this tier list. Yeah, I, honestly, I wasn't even putting it in uh, great. I was tempted in putting it in God just to give it its respect. But yeah, like you said, um, you know, trick shotting was legendary because obviously this is when trick shotting blew up in the scene. Um, but there was just like a lot of very annoying like multiplayer tactics like the noob tube like you said like people mm -hmm. would camp in this game for sure mm -hmm. one man army is like a huge problem in S and S and D uh, yeah I, I actually agree yeah I, w I would put it in great that that's definitely probably like our hottest takes or if um, that, that'll probably get some reaction but you know, yeah, I, I yeah, trick shot trick shotting was so great, but I just don't think like everything else about it was like it had some legendary maps. I will give it that, like a uh, high rise terminal. And um, I'll tell I'll tell you what, I'm tempted to move it up to God now because I I forgot about the campaign, dude. Like campaign, you gotta yeah, you gotta yeah. rate the whole game. Like the campaign was God tier, but and then like they had that little surprise ending where you're in the museum and you could like look at all the maps and stuff and then fight all the people, like. I think that's a really cool um, initiative to take is to like add an, a little Easter egg in there for people that complete it, you know? Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind putting it in God. I would just definitely put it behind Black Ops 2 because it's not, or to me, I, like, it might seem biased because Black Ops 2 was probably like one of, or probably the most played game that I've ever had. But it's just, you know, I just don't feel like it's as complete but i wouldn't mind keeping it a great or putting it in god like it's up to you mm -hmm. on that one. yeah i'll i'm gonna leave it in great where it is right now to be right. honest right. i i think it, it has the potential to be god tier but i think just the reputation that follows it um is what would put it there but for experience wise from us i feel like it's it belongs where it is right now yeah because even for like going back onto black ops 2 like the most op thing or like the most annoying thing I can remember was the target finder. That's one. C4 was probably another one. But that's, like, not as bad as, like, uh, you know, all, like, fucking one-man army, grenade launcher, and all that other mm. bullshit. Exactly, so, exactly. I mean, we're just nitpicking, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you get down to the roots of it, all of this is really nitpicking at each Call of Duty. Except yeah, for yeah, Infinite yeah. Warfare. That That's just trash overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, so the next game we got is modern warfare 3 modern warfare 3. and man you're gonna hate me that's gonna be another one where this is like the black ops one and modern warfare 3 were the games I, I was unable to get just because my family wasn't the richest so yeah yep. that's all you bro i i get you i'm gonna put it ahead of cod 4 in great right behind modern warfare 2 and the reasoning is because like i don't know it, it was just a really smooth game uh the mechanics were pretty smooth they had decent weapon balancing. The only I, I don't even really remember any weapons that were too crazy overpowered, to be honest, besides the Spaz 12. Um, but that got patched. So, yeah, uh, U, UMP 45 was all right. It wasn't too OP. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. That's 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 all I have to say about that, really. I mean, there were there some glitchy spots that you could get to to trick shot off of. That was fun. Um, for the casual player, they'd probably put it in like all right or meh because of that. But for my experience on Modern Warfare 3, I had a lot of fun. They had a 2v2, 3v3 gunfight type stuff, um, game modes that you could do, and those were really fun. Yeah, I, I had a, I had a blast on that game, so I'm just going to leave it right there at great. It's not quite in god tier because I feel like some of the maps could have been better um, and the campaign could have been better. But the campaign was still 
still really good. I would play it again. Um, yeah, I, I think it was the predecessor to Modern Warfare 2, which is why it's in great as well. So, you know, you can't really put this in God tier because we put Modern Warfare 2 in great. Um, so, yeah, that, that's where I would drop it. All right, this next one, you're going to know for sure. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And oh, Warzone, man. so so you got to combine um, Warzone with this one. War Warzone's is the same category as this one. Uh, yeah, for combining Warzone, honestly, I would <laughs> I would drop it in God to be honest. Would you actually considering yeah. everything, even multiplayer and like camp? Okay, campaign was really good. It was it was yeah. pretty amazing. But yeah, okay, man. you got to think of it this way. Like like they they came off of a blackout on Black Ops Four, and they were like, what what can we do to like make our own battle royale because that's what's blowing up right now right and then they go out and make warzone and people didn't like it in the beginning but then slowly people started playing it and now it's this huge thing like everybody's playing it everybody and their mother's playing it it's just crazy and not only that but i enjoy warzone um i enjoy the campaign uh, the multiplayer could have used a little bit more work with uh, weapons balancing because it seemed like every week or so they would patch one weapon and then the next weapon would be like two times more powerful. So, you know, people would uh, abuse that power a little bit. But besides that, really, um, I think everything was fine. The only other thing that I would mention is the maps. Like, I feel like they didn't really come up with their own maps at all. <laughs> they just took them from other Call of Duties and ran with it. Um, I don't, I, I don't know how you feel, but that's, I would drop it in God tier just because of reputation and our experience playing it. And it's been out since 2019. So it's almost going on three years now, just completely dominating the Call of Duty scene. That's true. Yeah. yeah. If we're, if we're combining this with Warzone, I could like respect that type of thinking. But for me, like outside of, uh, outside of Warzone, I would probably put it like in the same category as Cold War, honestly. Just because, um, like you said, like the multiplayer was just really, just it was just like really bad. Like the graphics were insane. Uh, I guess the mechanics were uh, the, the mechanics were really good too. But it was mm -hmm. just everything about multiplayer. Like once again with the lobby thing, where you can't stay in the same lobby. Um, let me think. Uh, the maps were pretty bad. I can only, I, I can remember a couple maps actually for that from that game. But that's only because I played a uh, league play a lot. Um. Mm -hmm. Man, uh, I was about to say something else, but yeah, the campaign was really good. Warzone, yeah, you can't you can't really hate on um, Warzone in terms of this Call of Duty Call of Duty title because it did uh, blow up or it helped revive the Call of Duty scene in a sense um, with all of the new fans and stuff. But man, if you're just thinking, if we're just looking at this game as a whole, I think multiplayer is definitely like the biggest downside to it, and I can't put it in God because I feel like that would be kind of a a disrespect to like. You know, something like Modern Warfare 2, where the only thing that was really holding it back was, like, the o OP guns and stuff. But all in all, it was, like, a a more consistent game, I guess. Um, yeah. Because if, I, I guarantee you, when people think about Warzone, they, they think of, like, Warzone. They, they like, there there probably be, like, a decent amount of people that would forget what the Call of Duty title was, like, um, in terms of Modern Warfare. So, for me, I would... I would put it in like around like the great category just because Warzone did carry and the campaign was really good as well. The campaign was pretty insane. Yeah, but, the campaign was really good. Yeah, but for me, I would just as like a respect for Modern Warfare 2, I'd at least put it like, you know, kind of like behind uh, Modern Warfare 2. But like we, we could always look back on this um, in the end of the list once everything is like set in stone and stuff. But yeah, we, we could we could redo the tier list once. um once the new Call of Duty comes out uh, and we play it for a little while. All right, so coming on to the next game here, World at War. Did you play it? Nope. This is all you again. You didn't play it? I'm going to drop it in all right. I, I thought you were going to say that, so I was thinking about what spot I would put it in. And I'm going to drop it in all right, and I'm going to drop it in all right because Zombies saved this game, the maps saved this game, and the campaign saved this game. The only thing that is bad about this game was weapons and mechanics. The mechanics were always glitchy. Um, you'd be sprinting and trying to pull up your weapon and it'd pull up too slow because you're coming out of a sprint. 
um, versus other Call of Duty games where you can have perks to help out with that. Um, it wasn't very intuitive, so you didn't really have to think about much. It was more of a run and gun type of game, uh, which is fine. Uh, there's a few Call of Duties in here that are like that as well. Um, but there wasn't really much skill base to it. Uh, you didn't really need much skill to play. And I'm like the way that I play Call of Duty, I like to have people that I play with that are, you know, decent at the game because, you know, I'm just competitive. You you want to win and stuff. Uh, but zombies definitely helped out this game. They could have released a few more zombies maps that weren't DLCs that came out with the game, but they didn't. Um, I wish they did. Uh, I purchased one DLC and I was like, no, I don't want to spend any more money on Call of Duty. So I was dropping it in all right. It's there with uh, Ghosts and Advanced Warfare for me. Um, it's not down with, uh, you know, Cold War or Infinite Warfare. I think it's right where it needs to be. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion on that. And last but not least, we're finally here, Nebs. What what game are we missing? Can you tell World me? World War Two. World War Two. Oh, that's that right. Because we've been playing that lately. Uh, yeah. Man, this is kind of like a hard game to rank as well. Just it because, is. man, it, it's like amazing, or it, it's like a breath of fresh air to pl uh, play it again. Because me and Tyler have been uh, sniping on War. War is mm -hmm. the game mode, right? Yep. Yeah. So we've been having a blast with that lately. But like at the time, um, just looking at these cards. I think I would put it in the all right tier. Uh, I don't know where I would put it in terms of in that all right tier, but it, it was like a, like looking back on it, it was actually like a, a really fun game. Um, like I definitely, I got diamond snipers in that game. That's pretty much it. But I played my ass off in like the first couple of months. But after that, like I don't really remember playing too much of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very unfortunate that they didn't create more maps for war uh sooner because that was or that was my favorite uh game mode uh i can't speak for Tyler. i'm pretty sure that's one of his favorites in that um mm. game as well but yeah it was just very unfortunate that they couldn't um make more maps because that was a that was a really fun game mode uh because it would it would just get dry there was only three maps there was neptune breakout and uh um, whatever that snow map is but really there was only two maps because you can you can only snipe on um two of them but yeah, yeah, like I actually this one this one's like a pretty good uh pretty good game. I think it aged pretty good too. Hopefully, uh yeah, it carries over to the new COD. What we shall see. Mm -hmm. I I dropped it in the front of all right because I feel like I I enjoy it more than I did Advanced Warfare, but um I wouldn't put it in great because we have again it's one of those disrespect things where you don't want to disrespect Black Ops or Modern Warfare Two or Black Ops 3, or MW3, COD 4, whatever, with a game that doesn't hold the same reputation. But at the same time, the mechanics in it were really smooth. Uh, the campaign was actually decent. I just wish they gave us more freedom. The campaign was so linear. Um, you know, you, you pretty much ran in like a straight line into this gunfight, and then you'd win every time because you're the main character kind of thing. Sure. Yeah, um, so it's not and and they wouldn't let you just like roam around and look at stuff it was more like you know you go down this line and that's it and if you go out of that line then you're out of bounds kind of thing it was a badass campaign but it was so tight it, it felt so tied down that it kind of killed itself a little bit um the zombies i only played once i heard the zombies was kind of trash I think uh, they I've tried. never played zombies on this one, actually. Yeah, it's it's not that good. I don't know what it is about it. I just didn't like it that much. Um, it felt like they were kind of copying. Um, it felt like they were copying some other Call of Duty game, and and they did terribly at it. Uh, oh, it was uh, Advanced Warfare Zombies. It felt like the zombies had the same mechanics as the Advanced Warfare Zombies. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. It it it, it just wasn't that good. It's, zombies wise multiplayer wise i think it's kind of revived that um feeling of you know the world war ii games such as like call of duty 2 or you know all these other ones um so yeah i i don't know i feel like it, w it was sort of a breath of fresh air at first um but when the game actually came out and people started to play it and realized that they didn't like it as much they kind of uh regretted 
forcing Call of Duty into creating this game so quickly. Um, I think this was Sledgehammer's first Call of Duty that they did on, by themselves when they split, right? Uh, I think. Shoot, man. I can't. Yeah, this is all. I can't remember. I'm trying to. Let me look at the list. I don't remember any other Sledgehammer besides this one. Advanced Warfare? There, uh, Advanced oh, yeah. Warfare was Sledgehammer. Advanced, too, right? Advanced Warfare was Sledgehammer, yeah. Because Ghost was Infinity Ward, and they always. Because uh, it was Black Ops 2, Treyarch, Ghost. Uh, Infinity Ward, and then I think Advanced Warfare was Sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I I think you're right. So this was the second Sledgehammer game, and Sledgehammer actually listened to the community, but they just did it wrong. They, they did. did something wrong. Um, they um, I will say uh, or they they listened to the community in the in sorts of the league play aspect. Uh, I never got to play league play, but every time I hear like any pr pros or anybody talking about the league play system, they said this league play system was even better than the black ops 2 league play system so oh, wow yeah they they got that system right and hopefully they implement that into the new cod but yeah i think sledgehammer is actually uh they're kind of in like a consistent streak right now they put out like two like pretty good games like so hopefully uh this upcoming one it could add some I, pizzazz or i hope this upcoming one just stomps the rest that they yeah made. i hope so you know too. what i mean just just absolutely destroys like people don't even remember advanced warfare or world war ii because vanguard absolutely just destroyed the market you know what i mean yeah, yeah I, I hope, hope so. that's how it is because i i don't know if i could do don't get me wrong i put call of duty Modern warfare and god tier but i don't know if i could do warzone for another year just saying <laughs> you know what and i mean especially like for warzone there's no an or it's gonna there, there's not gonna be an anti-cheat until december apparently so there's yeah, a that's... lot of tiers on that unfortunately yeah exactly all right so that's our tier list nevs you'd put a thumbs up on this tier list for now i would say a thumbs up on this one the only thing was like modern warfare but you gave me black ops 3 in great tier so i'm like honestly it's even so Yep, I yep. think I think I think this is some thumbs up. I'm thinking pretty satisfied with this one. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied as well. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. If you disagree with any of these Call of Duties, please just let us know. Um, we're always down to uh, reply to comments, do whatever we need to do uh, just to talk to you guys. So yeah, and also if you guys want to join my Discord, there will be a link down in the description. Go ahead, follow me on Twitter as well. Anything uh, you want to say, Nebs? And also check out Tyler's Twitch. He tr uh, streams. Um, That's now. right. That's so, right. Check it out. Yep. Uh, all right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Peace. That's just the drugs. Don't they make you feel numb? You can't feel it all. Maybe if we loved ourselves.